Today I'm going to be reacting to your camper vans. Happy hump day everybody and about two months ago I asked you to send me videos of your camper vans so that I could react to them. Thank you to everybody that sent me a video. Uh, thank you to everyone that also sent me a photo as well. I will be reacting to the videos today. So without wasting any time, let's get stuck in. Oh. Hang on, I'm going to put my headphones in before I get a copyright claim. Yes, I don't have AirPods. These are wired ones because I lose everything. Okay. Right, I'm going to start again because, uh, you know, I was... Awesome camper van conversion. Here we go. This is from the website, The Viking Craftsman. Okay, so it looks pretty good so far. Looks like a uh, Ducato or something. Okay. See, ah, oh, it's got like three seats in it. I had those tires in my other van. Ah, the ceiling as well. I wonder if they had as many problems as me and my dad did doing the ceiling in this one. No, that's nice. It's nice because it's different. You know, it hasn't got the... Oh, that's quite a cool induction hob as well. Yeah, so it's nice because they've kind of got the kitchen where I've got mine, but then there's two benches at the back and also a bench at the front. Lots of space, nice fridge. Cool. Of course they've got a hidden toilet. Every van needs a dunny. All right. Okay, so all the electrics are underneath one of the seats. And I bet they've got like, what, water pump on the other side? Or is that just storage? Mains hook up, thanks for putting that on the screen because, you know, I was like, what is that? The woodwork looks really good actually. 200 watt solar, 2000 watt inverter by the looks of it. 300 amp hour battery bank. That's a lot to cram into that space to be fair. Yeah, can't have enough switches and outlets can you ah he's gonna put the bed together now all right so where was that that thing that you've unfolded to put the bed down where's that stored that's what i want to know three foot six bed oh lengthways uh, okay that's cool See, I found that really difficult to get that into this into this van. A bed that would go that way. That's a, but they've got the little inserts as well. But I think the Ducatos, if it is a Ducato or whether it's a Citroen or Peugeot, they're all the same vehicle anyway. But it's just whether... I mean, they're quite wide anyway, so I think that you can quite easily fit a, a six-foot free bed in there. Tons of storage overhead. Yeah, mm, they're quite nice overhead storage cabinets. Water. Where... Great. Ah, so they've literally got like a grey water tank that you just empty. Handy. So where's that? What unit is that in? Ah, uh, that's that's in the unit that's behind the behind the seats. Blinds. Yeah. I'm gonna skip through because this video is gonna be like half an hour long if I don't. So. Oh, that curtain's cool. Did you see that little cutout? Hey on. Hey on. I gotta see that again. All right, let's go back. Let's go back. I mean, that is that is pretty cool. They've literally thought about that for the curtain. Oh, it's got the poppers as well. Oh, that's cool. I like it. See, now I like this. These lights that go sort of, they're like LED strip lighting. And it goes down behind the, um, by the slats. And I... It gives a really nice sort of like ambient glow and I think it looks really good. Yeah, more down lights, like it. It looks like he's only pretty much got the two back windows and the side window on the sliding door. So the more lights you have, the better, because that's it can just look really dark. Nice little table. Where's the, where was that table kept? Was that on the back door? Did I miss that? Ah, there it is. Okay, thanks. You paid it off at the end. Let's go to the next one. Who's this from? Stones and Moonlight. Okay, this is a Google Drive. Oh, what's this? <sighs> Request access or switch to an account with access. Okay, well, let's have a look. Maybe next time. Right, next one. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's already started. I want that to be full screen. 
How do I get that on to full screen? Ah, this is cool. So this is like a removable camper van in the back of a pickup truck, right? I mean, if you're a builder or something and you, and you need to use your van or your truck for something else, and you just want to set it up for like little weekends away, I mean, that's pretty cool. I mean, it didn't look like a very quick setup. You know, I'd almost want it to be like all in one container that you just put in and it unfolds rather than having multiple parts. But I mean, it looks pretty cozy in there. Is that a sink? Ah, uh, yeah, no, I mean, yeah. Hats off to you, mate. Well done. I love things like this where like your vehicle can multitask and it can do different things. Yeah, really cool. Thank you for sharing. Right, next. Buzz Camper. Okay, it's cool. Hey, Love Sunday sticker. The guy is representing. Okay. Hey, it's quite a... I was going to say it's a similar setup to mine, but it's not because the kitchen's on the wrong side. So th here's a question, okay? Let me just go back to that because everything of everything about this van looks really, really nice. But the bench seat you've got is very minimal. You know, you can see the slats and things. Everything else looks really professionally made and and finished. So I would probably just put a like a like a wooden board on the front of that just to sort of tidy it up a little bit but yeah overhead cabinets it's a good use of the space and from the looks of it it doesn't seem too enclosed because this is one of the things that i thought when i was installing this kitchen whether to put it on that side or whether the side where the door is and the reason why i went with this side is because i didn't want it to feel too claustrophobic with uh with the kitchen being on that side so, but that actually looked fine, to be fair. Right, did we have any more? So that was Andy Busby. Thank you, Andy, looked good. Well, let's have a look at Luke's. Cato. Fiat Ducato, um, it's Fiat Ducato again. 2.3 engine in there, a diesel. Um, gonna walk around the outside first of all. Yeah. Sorry about the wind. Again, kitchen on that side. So the door's open. Very stealth, don't see any windows yet. Loads of room. It's um, a mid, mid uh, wheelbase. Uh, I'll show the back first of all. Garage looks well used. Five litres of water, <laughs> which I think I only really needed 100. So I'm probably going to change that. Um, 300 amps. That's a lot of batteries. Um, lithium. Yep. They're heated as well, so if it's cold, it's so they heat up before you start the charging, which won't do any damage to them. Excellent. I've got the DC to DC charger. Yeah. So on a long a lot of energy I can stuff. Charge them up if they're right down. And of course, solar panel. You've got four amps going in at Ooh, the moment. I've lost some and light. This thing is amazing. I can plug it in. Uh, not only will it charge the battery, it's also a. Um, inverter Sorry, I've just well. lost like so a part of the lights. Really amazing. Let's see inside from the back. It looks really cozy. To be fair, that does look cozy. Side you've seen. That's my little Hi, dog. Hi, dog. Hi, Jess. Come in. Come on. So Get in the van, dog. Come I've on. I've got one swivel seat because on the other side, um, I've got the shower in there. So let's just shower as well. Wow. Um, you have fit so a yeah, lot this, into this that space, mate. To be fair. A pop -up table. Yeah. So that gives medium uh, wheelbase. And you've got a so shower. And a, to uh, and a dunny in there, yeah. Bench, there. toilet, shower, Along kitchen, big double uh, bed. Shower. Yeah, so you've done well, mate. As well. Um, there's a curtain that goes across as well for a bit more privacy and a bit more insulation as well. So, I'll spin this back yeah, down. Swivel seats the way forward. I am going to put one in here them. eventually, but it's just getting around to doing um, it. And yeah, double bed. It's so comfortable. It's got a I think this is about, it's got memory fold, I think it's about 18 inches or 12 inches. We've all got 18 inches, mate. In there. Uh, it's a CCTV on the outside, so it's 360 right the way around. My kettle on the gas hob. Cool. Um, I've got a pull-out table here. See, now, pull-out table, right, hang on, let me just pause that. 
that was something that I was contemplating doing, right? I was going to have a pull-out table that came out here, but it was it would make things like doing this quite restrictive, simply because you know I wouldn't be able to sit in the middle here. I mean, I would have to sit off to the side, and not only that, I didn't want a table being in the garage because nobody has really seen this yet. But I can actually lift this bed up completely so that it it's. If I need to like get in and out of a wetsuit in the garage, it gives me so much more headspace. So I can actually lift it up, and I didn't want a, I didn't want a table just sort of like floating in there. So that's why I didn't go for it. But I mean, this works for me fine. But I mean, it looks like that is just such an easier setup than what I need to do to to put this table out. Down there, put something, and then um, it's all nice and cosy. Let's um, go to TV. The oh, TV. And there we are on the inside. Uh, right. Sorry, the air was on the outside. Now, I've got the is that a 12... I'll pause it again. Is that a 12 volt TV or a 240 volt? I mean, you've got the inverter anyway, but I'm just interested in knowing because I know that 12 volt TVs are like probably four times more expensive than what, than what regular TVs are. Um, so it's just sort of weighing it up, I guess. But just let me know. So I wanted one that was going to blow out and then one that was going to blow in so when I'm cooking I can have shut the door or coke and uh, have no smells in there. Um, so else? two uh, fans, yeah. So that's for the inverter. That's to say how much power is in there as well. It's got another one here for the lithium. Um, I've got temperature outside, temperature inside. Uh, this is for the diesel heater. See that? Up, but yeah, for the diesel heater. Yeah. And then have a diesel heater. Water that works off of the diesel heater. Where is the so, diesel heater? Where, where have you positioned it, mate? Because I still don't know where I'm going to put mine. Underneath here is where the. There you go. Yeah. It's like he's listening to the, me. You um, answered my question. Thank you. Um, there's also a switch which is on the top here, so I can just have it so that it blows uh, hot air. Or halfway, obviously both, for the heated water, or right the way down, Never. just for the water heat itself for summertime, which works absolutely amazing. Um, it's an 18 litre tank, yeah. I've got this water tap here, just need that to fill it up. Manually, so it's got about half in there. Cool. Turn it off, and we're done. Another heater um, outlet there. You have fit so much into this van. And switch there. And also, in the shower, if I go for a walk and it's wet, I come out wet, yeah, I've got the coats wet, then I've got a, another heater vent there just to um, uh, dry anything off that's in. Um, what else have got? Oh. Now, that is exactly what I mean by use your van before you start building it because it's things like that that you don't realise that you need until. It's a miserable raining day and then you literally rock up back at your van you take your coat off and you're like where am i going to put this wet coat in my nice clean dry van i guarantee that probably happened to him and he was like if i'm never going to use the shower then at least i can hang wet stuff up in it i've got my little 12 volt fridge fridge which is um it's all right, it, it does a job. I would like to upgrade it. Nice point. slide out drawer on the fridge. Uh, a little camper cooker, which works perfectly fine. Cool. Um, and yeah, that's, there's a few shelves for the plates. Um, Ooh, there was well. a bit sick there, hang on. I do reckon I get Ooh. a toaster as well, and that's just to, to light it. Get along, yeah, make us a cup of tea then. Um, I'm so not yeah, saying I don't drink tea. Make me a coffee. I really enjoy your programs as well um, on YouTube. Um, and I think the build's coming along lovely. And congratulations on the baby. No, oh, cheers. Take care. Cheers, Look to more videos from you, mate. Bye. Excellent. Right, I think we've got time for one more. All right, let's have a look at this. Hello, Love Sundays channel viewers. My name is Terry from the Terry Cracker YouTube channel. Right, Terry, I didn't ask you to plug your own channel, mate, all right? <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. So I converted a 15-seat minibus. As you can see, it does have the bus door. 
fit in a rock and roller bed. Ignore the rubbish underneath for now. Still not fully I finished. I need to get the floor I can't done. ignore that rubbish. I've got a rock and roller bed Terry. here. Furniture which was it. meant to be in a VW, which I managed to get it to fit into here. That's this a good, new shape. That's a really good a, job. A bed, if you've managed to get a bed as well. And when you pull this section out, it pulls out about here to reveal a dunny. <laughs> yeah, he's got a dunny. Lights all over, which are all um, LEDs for the battery. I've got a diesel heater fit in there, battery heater in there, battery charger. And whoa, 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 whoa! Hang on, hang on, whoa, whoa, whoa! Let me, let me stop. Let me go back. Did you see the carpet above where the diesel heater was? You can tell that this was literally a proper minibus. Do you remember like school trips when you were a kid and like the lining of the buses were always like blue with like weird colours going on? Battery charger and the yeah, panel here. Definitely, definitely. And obviously, <laughs> I had to get a minibus. Uh, uh, Exhaust gas, what they're called. You know what I mean. In case any of the exhaust gases come out of the diesel heater, it comes in here and kills me. Like Carbon it nearly done one time. Carbon monoxide sensor. Right. Anywho, I hope you enjoyed the little look around my, as it's officially known, Le Camper Bus. So yeah, lots of adventures. Bye. Bye, Terry. <laughs> right. Thank you so much for coming along to watch me react to all these different types of camper van. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video, it's something new. I am planning on doing these videos on top of my regular Sunday videos just to sort of break up the week. It's just a little bit of fun and we can look at other people's vans and you know I might do a few videos where I look at like, like the stereotypical van life TikToks that um, we all know are normally very fake. So. Let me know in the comments if you do want to see more videos like this. I'm not going to ask you to subscribe because you probably already do. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.